All right, guys. Video 3.4. Now we do the math multiplier. Math practice. All right, the multiplier. So just to refresh our memories on our equations, because we're going to use them quite a bit in this video. Um, MPC is equal to the change in consumption over the change in disposable income. MPS equals 1 over MPC. And the multiplier equals 1 over the MPS. All right, so this is how to do it. Here's an example problem. And actually, there's three problems here. So go with me step by step. I know there's a lot on the screen. If disposable income increases by $1,000 and consumption increases by $750, first question is what is the MPC? Okay, so the MPC, the change in consumption over the change in YD, so $750 over $1,000, that equals 0.75. And so that is our answer, 0.75. That is our MPC. So now what is the MPS? The MPS equals 1 minus 0.75. So it is 0.25. All right, because they equal 1. Now the multiplier we know is 1 over MPS. So it is 1 over 0.25. Now here's where I recommend that you use fractions because it makes it really, really easy. Um, the AP test is going to use simple numbers. So your MPS is pretty much always going to be one, one half, I don't know if I've ever seen a half, one fourth, one fifth, um, one tenth. It's going to be numbers like that, ones that are easily, easy to do the math. Um, so when you have one point, or when you have one over 0.25, that's the same as one fourth. If you do it as a fraction, then one over one fourth is the same as one times four, which equals four. Um, so it's just the reciprocal. So if you do it that way, same thing. If it was 1 over 0 0.2, 0 0.2 equals 1 fifth. So it's 1 times 5 equals 5. Um, rather than sitting there trying to figure out the math, 1 over 1 tenth, or 1 over 1, sorry, 1 over 0 0.1 is the same as 1 over 1 tenth. So 1 times 10 is 10. So I suggest you do it that way. All right, so now it's your turn. I want you to pause the video, and you're going to solve this problem. The next slide, you're going to have the answers, and we'll go over them. All right, so pause the video. Here's some music for you. Just kidding, you can't think of that. All right, hit pause, because I'm going to go to the next slide. All right. Disposable income increases by $1,500, and savings increases by $300. So that was our problem, solving for the MPC, the MPS, and the multiplier. So our changes. Our Again, we have 1,200 as our change in uh, consumption over our change in disposable income. 1,200 over 1,500 equals 4 fifths equals 0 0.8 is our MPC. Our MPS, 1 minus 0 0.8 equals 0 0.2. This math is really, really tough, isn't it? I mean, so intimidating. Multiplier, third question. Now we do 1 over the MPS, so 1 over 0.2 is the same as 1 over 1 fifth equals 5. That's it. That's all there is to it. It's not too bad. Um, now, the fourth question. Here's the big one, one that I didn't show you previously. So good job if you got this. What are you using the multiplier for? So you figure out the multiplier is five, well now you have to multiply something. And you multiply the initial increase in disposable income. So that's what you, so it asks you the total increase in GDP that results from the increase in disposable income. So 1,500 times five equals $7,500. So you getting a $1,500 raise it's going to circulate through the economy. If everybody's MPC is 0 0.8, it will lead to an increase of $7,500 to the total economy. Let's do it again. Go for it. Hit pause. All right, so our answers now. We have disposable income was $1,000 and is now $1,200. Consumption was $900 and is now 1,050. So now I didn't give you the changes, I made you solve for the changes. You still do the exact same thing, I just gave you an additional step. Um, so you have to first figure out your changes. So 1,200 minus 1,000 equals 200, that's your change in disposable income. 1050 minus 900 equals 150, that's your change in consumption. 150 over 200 equals 0.75, that's your MPC. 1 minus 0.75 equals 0.25, that is your MPS. Now you use your multiplier or figure out your multiplier, 1 over 0.25 or 1 over 1 fourth equals 4. 
Now you go back to the initial change in disposable income, which was $200. 200 times four equals $800. That is gonna be your total increase in GDP caused by that initial increase in income. That's it. So hopefully you guys are getting this. I have lots more opportunities to practice for sure. All right, now we're gonna solve the consumption function. All right, so you have the consumption function in front of you, C equals A plus MPC times disposable income. Your final answer is going to look like this. And what I mean by look like this is that C and YD are going to be variables. Because what you're looking at, remember what this consumption function is doing, it is the relationship between consumption and disposable income. So we are going to solve for A and we're gonna figure out our MPC. That's how we do this. So your answer, you're gonna replace A with a number, whatever we calculate it to be, and you're gonna replace MPC with a number also. So this is what the final answer looks like. C and YD will remain variables. We're solving for A and for MPC. Okay, so let's go through one together. Um, disposable income, so now I give you, you have the change in consumption, the change in disposable income, same exact problem as before. Find the consumption function. All right, so that's what you're instructed to do. So it should be C equals something plus your MPC times your um, YD. All right, so again, pause it, do your best. So maybe you could do it on your own, maybe you couldn't. Either way, it's fine. Um, let's look at it. So step one, find the MPC. So that's always going to be step one when you're doing consumption function. So we do that by, again, looking at the changes. Our changes are uh, disposable income change by 200, consumption change by 150, same as before. So our MPC is 0 0.75. Now we're just going to plug in the variables and we're going to solve for A. So this is like, I don't know, pre-algebra, maybe algebra one, middle school. Um, nothing too complicated here. So 1050, that is our C. And we got that because the problem told us it is. A, we don't know. 0.75 is our MPC and disposable income is 1200. Um, so we have 1050 equals A plus 900. Subtract 900 from both sides and we have 150 equals A. So then the way that we present this as a final answer, C equals 150 plus 0 0.75 times YD. And that is what your consumption function looks like. This has been a Lamani production.